When I look through my references for the cityscapes, and when I take the photograph, it's just to take a note of the moment that I see, knowing full well that the photo is going to be garbage, and that I have to deal with the reference photo on the computer to make it look close to how I felt at the time, what I thought I saw, and how it feels, and then when I dive into the painting, just to let that take over and let my mark making create how it actually looks. How do you make paint make reality when it's just crazy weird fucking marks? When I'm selecting the references, it's focusing on mainly composition. I'm not even looking at anything other than light and where forms are on the whole thing, how the perspective lines up, and if it's completely balanced as a rhythmic composition. It's, it's more about what happens between me and the panel than focusing on getting that reference right. I don't care if a car is here, here, a Prius or a Dodge. I don't give a shit. I don't care if it's a truck. If it's in the wrong spot, move it. If it's, if it's a crowd of people, it's a shape. Very abstract thinking, and in the end, very realistic painting with, with absolutely no realism to it. I mean, when you get up close, it's just a, it's a sloppy mess of garbage. It feels right. Realism, to me, involves something that's beyond trying to make a painting look like reality. You're never going to get it if you try and get every detail. That detail is not reality. To me, it's the, the emotion. That's reality. When you're, when you're in a cityscape or when you're on the street, you can't see the entire scene in front of you. Some areas are just completely blown out, wiped out, rained out. The car is just a black blur. That's how it feels to me in reality. And I like to paint that in a way that people who view my paintings are still aware that it's paint. It's a brush stroke on a face, but when you step back, it's a face. When you get up close, you see the paint. Or there may be some weird shit that I did in the corner, or over here where the brush marks are very apparent. And I think that's what keeps the interest, like, it's a painting. Because that's what I do. I'm not trying to hide the fact that it's a painting. Whereas some people like will get really detailed, it's like, let, let the photocopier do that. Paint is a medium. Don't try and force it to be like a photo. The times we're living in, people are starting to refocus back on community. And be like, ah, we all got pretty fucked up. Let's, let's focus a little bit more back on ourselves, you know. And there's that this realm of fine art painters now who are, we work representationally. It looks like figures, cityscapes, it looks like stuff like that, but we're trying to break the boundaries of how does it make you feel, how, how do we apply paint in a way that is still modern, but it is still a way that you can understand. You know, I mean, I, I'm pretty traditional when you look at it. I don't, I don't break many fucking boundaries. I don't, I'm not trying to, like, piss people off or, or make huge epic statements. I'm just trying to... I mean, it's kind of conceited. I'm just trying to like get these things that I feel out. I'm just trying to paint a journal of my life in a visual form for everybody. And then there's other artists out there trying to make people more aware of the world around them. Maybe I'm doing that. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm trying to be like, you know what? Look at look at women as a, as beautiful again. You know, try. It. And I arrange the set and I arrange the light and I take the photos to make it so beautiful that I don't have to do that much work when I paint it because I nailed it. Like I would have to do a lot more work if it was a random model 
in some shitty scene. I do all of that hard work, like the arranging of the, the house, the photos, the developing of the photos, the work I do on the computer to actually get to the painting stage. That's a huge part of the painting that everyone asks like, how long did it take you to paint this? I'm like, the fucking like two, three weeks it took me to get this set up. To find that right moment is 70% of the painting. And then I just make it. Yeah, the making it is the great part. If you miss it, it fails. Cityscapes, and I love that contrast. Super solid buildings, fast moving cars all over the place. You can't pick between one or the other, and it's just, it's this horror show of an experience if you actually pay attention to it. And most of the time when I'm walking around looking at these scenes, it's I'm by myself walking from place to place, just sitting there while this like war is going on all around me. All these noises, things, lights, everything. And I think it's the most beautiful symphony when you freeze it and then depict it as a frozen moment of that violence. And so I think a lot of the violence while I'm painting, I mean, all that energy that's coming out of those brush strokes and throwing shit at the, kit, at the panel and beating out of it, that's the only way you're going to capture a city. If I could just count how many goddamn times I've painted a fucking car on a wet street, I'd throw up. But the fact that I now know the minimal information it takes to get that idea across in the brain, that is 10, 15 years of study into a two minute mark. Like that's the rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. Hit it. You know, there, there, aren't, there aren't any extra takes. If you missed, Start another painting. depression and then horrible excitement of wonderful paintings and then sleeping and then waking up and going through the same roller coaster of life. When I'm painting the figures, it's, it's very soft, it's gentle and controlled with nice rhythmic movements and then the areas around it are going to be, you know, violent and aggressive because to me it's like, this is where the beauty is, the rest of the world, as you get to the outside of the canvas, as you're leaving the, the painting, that's getting into reality where it's gross and angry and ugly, and I just wanted to stay in that little, that little moment that I created, like here's a beautiful woman in a peaceful, forlorn, sad, melancholy state. Back in the day, when women would dress up well, it's because their body shape is pretty much the most beautiful fucking thing on the planet. Their curves are meant to naturally attract men to make life. I mean, if you want to make it that basic. So when I look at a woman, it's like, you are a gorgeous creature with natural things about you that are fucking beautiful. And your curves and I'm not, I don't mean like curves in the way that people think of, oh, tits and ass. I mean curves like the way that your ankle curves up to your hip, around your wrist, and up to your eyes and where your eyes are looking. That sort of grace and elegance and power is a painting. I mean, women are paintings. They're meant to be painted.
wanted that in a gray. I wanted that super saturated in grays. So I became Payne's gray, black, Naples yellow, and all that shit. It's easy to see colorful as lots of color. That's not what it is. It's, it's a harmony of tones here. Oh, perfection. It's not gray as in dead. on that roller and then pull off this area and then blend that area. That's focus to me. That's like some weird Zen shit focus. And the end result looks so simple. But the entirety of making that mark started on the first mark all the way to the last mark. How simple that area looks actually encompassed the entire time it took to paint that painting.